Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round of 32, game number one between Jonesy and his Dark Elves up against Alan76 and his Undead. I can tell you that Jonesy won his group, he's German, qualified through the DBBL on PC and Alan76 finished runners up, runner up in his group. He's from the UK and he qualified on PlayStation through Murder Bowl, Gateway to Glory. And Jonesy's won the toss, chosen to receive. And uh, he's got this black and white kit, not terrible. Brutal cheerleaders, um, undead cheerleaders for Alan. And uh, yeah, decent, you know, at least they've made an effort with their, with their painting their teams here. That's nice to see, isn't it? The Germans, yep. I played in DBBL one season while I lived in Germany and uh, qualified to the World Cup through there. Glorious. Glorious gym. Just quietly. Say it just quietly, it was pretty loudly, wasn't it? <laughs> so yeah, a bit of a strange build from Jonesy. He's gone an unusual build of no skill on one of the witches and then taking tackle on the blitzer. And lead a runner to give him the third reroll with the Apo. Only 11 players. Fails the pickup. Alan has a very strange build of only two ghouls. Um, yeah. Not what I would do. Two ghouls, a strip ball white, um, and three guards. Yeah, that's. That's. Uh, not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? I don't really understand why you would want two goals. It gives him a, a fourth reroll instead of only three. Like, three rerolls is enough, right? And ghouls are incredible. So, I would go so far as to say that's incorrect. You know, four ghouls is pretty standard for a reason. And the, the strip ball, white, also I don't like. So... Yeah, not a big fan of Alan's team at all. Ooh, could get a surf here, except he rolls an instant pow. Instant pow. Only one reliable witch elf is a, is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Wow, he fails the pickup. Not re-rolling it. Refusing to re-roll. <laughs> oh yeah, 4 rerolls. Yeah, PlayStation 4 Pro, isn't it? He? he thought he was represent the PlayStation 4 by having 4 rerolls. Makes perfect sense now. Yep. The shark tank. <laughs> That's the POW. I believe surveillance is also a PlayStation 4, actually, now that I think about it. Jürgen Fantasch. No, I was still Jimmy Fantasch. I didn't change my username to join the league. <laughs> I was still Jimmy Fantastic. Oh, wow, really retreating now. But uh, getting a nice surf. Nope. Full instant pow. Makes the dodge away though. It's another turn without picking up the ball. <laughs> Three turns, still doesn't have the ball. Will the undead try to close in and do something or? Nope, we're gonna blockless blitz. Looking for a pow with a zombie. And then end the turn. Is it what I would do? No. Um, that's all I've got to say about that. Hmm, I feel like 
I don't really like this from Jonesy, honestly. I think I would have just made this formation first, right? I wouldn't have made like a, a, a cage. I would have just made like a double screen and then picked it up without needing to do any of that. Mon Gloom, Dion Lord, Tumish, Mad Jake. Yeah. Oh, in that group. Oh, yeah, in that group. Yeah, Dion Lord finished bottom of the uh, of the group. In fact, because he lost to Alan. Does it? I mean, he lost, didn't he? Simple as that. He got half his team killed. <laughs> Maybe even more of his. I think he had about three players left on the pitch at the end of the game. Dion Lord. So. And yep, here we go. Turn five is a little bit late, but uh, there is a route downfield now. Yep. I I literally just said he he got his entire team massacred. <laughs> he li he literally had like three players left on the field at the end at the end of the game. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> now nah, you've got to go up this side now. It's turn five, right? This is a little bit late. This is a little bit late. So we've got to start going. Yeah, so, yeah, what? one mummy stranded. The other's marked. But that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? You know, at the end of the day, the Omelord could have uh, could have won the other games and not finished bottom. So there's um, just yeah, I would have been tempted to reroll that as well. Calcium, yep. Uh, the last game in the end, Frankie versus. <laughs> okay. Frankie versus Slade, that happened. We'll be doing the second game soon. I don't know why I'm speaking. <laughs> right, so you know he's got in the way a little bit. And he has got in the way a little bit. And now he's going to make a decision whether to keep pushing down the flank or uh, go up to the middle here. He's going to keep going down the flank. I'm rolling some dice here. Absolutely rolling some dice. Wow. Wow, loads of dice rolled. Unbelievable, Jeff. That's so many dice. That's more dice than I've probably rolled in the entire tournament so far. <laughs> but they worked. And... Uh yeah. I think I prefer the switch to the middle because going down the flank, either you don't get far enough or you roll a million dice, right? And I didn't really like rolling a million dice, so I would have, uh, I would have gone for the middle switch. Isn't this just a 1D? No, no, he handed it off. Handed it off to the uh, bits of there. I mean, it is a 30% surf, basically. So. It was a bit of an ugly, successful play, yeah. Yeah. The only bad thing about going for the surf here is obviously you'd love to just surf the, the witch or whatever, but you have to go for this. You have to. This is the right play. I have no doubt that's the correct play. What I don't like is moving all of your players first, right? But th that's too good, right? 30% of the time, you basi basically 30% of the time you're surfing. And, uh, and then, like, picking up on a bludger if you're lucky and stuff. But I think you shouldn't have moved everybody else first. But Jonesy gets away with it, and uh, yeah, 
looking rather good now. I mean, not rather good. Obviously, there's absolutely no way <laughs> anything can happen almost. I don't think Alan's got a real chance of a one turn, right? With ghouls. So, probably is best to, like, uphill strip this. Three, then a six, then an uphill. I think the 3 6 uphill was the play. Oh, a 3 4 6 uphill and push him out even, right? Now you've got three re rolls. So, like. 3 4 6, push him out to here. <laughs> Anyone say 1 turn 3? <laughs> Hello, okay, folks. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm oh, victorious. Glorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Thank you very much, KD Defra. Or K Defra, whichever. I don't know. KD Defra. Let's go. KD Defra. Um, thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. It's possible, right? It's possible at one turn here, but. <laughs> Um, he's only got two ghouls, and it's it's not easy to get the dodges through and stuff. So, and especially not doing it like this. This is way. Oh, there was a send off. Oh my goodness! I never know what happens with these. It was an officious ref, and it was the leader sent off. Well, that's way better than this one turn that won't work. so hard to do movement 7, even if you uh, set it all up correctly. Just even rolling the dice to do a movement 7 one turn is hard. So, 1-0 to Jonesy. Allen's got a chance. He could just try and get a draw this game, right? He, he doesn't have to go, you know, he doesn't have to go for the win. He can just try to get the draw here. Being game one, I think I'd expect we'd see most people just like you know accepting a draw in game one. Uh, depends. I guess it depends how they see you know themselves and their opponent who's favoured and stuff. Like if you think you're a big favourite in this matchup, then just taking the draw is fine because you can trust that you'll win the next one, right? But I guess if he thinks. Um, but then, on the other hand, even even then, like if you think you have to get lucky to win, you haven't got lucky this game. You've only made one removal, and you, and you conceded. So like you haven't got lucky to win this game. So just go next time, right? So I think that's the. I think probably everybody should be pretty accepting of draws in the first game. I mean, like obviously not if you get like. You know, some kind of like amazing thing, like a blitz and start with a ball on your opponent's drive, that sort of thing. But mostly, like, I don't think pushing for the win in game one is a good idea. But there's a few people who like drew the first game, and then their second game is going to be very, very nervy, isn't it? Because if they lose, they're just out, which is going to be horrible as well, right? Like I was thinking of my game, and I was thinking, well, as long as I don't lose the first game, it's okay, but I'd also not like to go out and I'd draw on a loss. Oh, there's a Kaz. I 
Hello Walter. Why is the ball going? In here, but there's no guard there. We're running out of places to put the ball here. There's no there's no guard there though. Oh I guess he's here. Oh now now Oh you can just wandy, right? And then wandy him? He just stands him up instant. Can he chain him out? I don't know. Yeah. Jelly versus Delac. I mean Delac. One player has all world alliance and the other, and the other has um one player has Wood Elves and one player has Old World Alliance. <laughs> so, so, you know. Jimmy did play really well and I was also impressed. But, before the match, before the tournament, Olivier Delac made a much better decision <laughs> than Jay Leave. <laughs> and that was he picked Wood Elves. And that decision may defeat any amount that Jay Leave makes in the actual match. But yeah, I did I did you know, Jay Leave did impress me. I thought he played very well and it, they were it, they were wildly entertaining games, both of them. The jump was incredible. The one turns were great. And yep. Jelly played great. Wood Elves cannot throw a halfling three times in a row, no. Okay, so just a just a kind of sensible dark elf defense here. Very sensible, but this is already very they're deep inside the half now, aren't they? So this should be relatively easy to uh, to you know keep the ball up here and then punch it in. Just don't go too close to the sideline. I was just about to say is he's gone too close to the sideline <laughs> and uh, just stay more or less where he is, right? He's already in range, basically. But he's gone in Chunt's column, which is uh, a very, diff very dangerous place to stay. Yeah, I don't like this. He could have literally, he could have just had the ball here in a cage, right? Or had the ball over here in a cage. There was really no need to put the ball here. And while Jonesy isn't doing anything with it, I just don't like doing it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it seems like he just really wants to score early, which again, he just shouldn't. I don't think. I think just take the draw at this point. Yeah, exactly, hold on. Yeah, he's like setting himself up to get squeezed, exactly. Right, you know, again, I'd be switching back here, right? Blitz this guy, three dice. Get the cage here. This is where you want to be. I mean, well, here. Obviously, I mean, here is where you... Your ideal cage is here, right? Because it's three squares away from the end zone. And you can just definitely score, right? Almost certainly score. This is where you want it to be. Obviously, you never get it there. Almost never get it there. But you do want it as central as possible and, and as far forward as possible, generally. And now, this looks like something can happen. Hmm. <laughs> 
Well, nothing is happening. He's just uh, he's just keeping this this sideline defended and this switch back not very lightly defended. It's turn 14. Now Alan has officially given up on the quick score. Finally, because he has to. Oh my god, if you score this touchdown. No way. <laughs> Not what I would have done. Um. <laughs> I <laughs> honestly, <laughs> Temi to to Geppetto. Oh, to me to Geppetto. <laughs> that that uh, that that emoji was exactly my reaction. Um. That's really weird. Oh yeah, Alun, that's better than Alan. Alan, 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 no, he's from the UK, isn't he? So he's probably just called Alan. And the clock turned back as well to just make it really easy for Jonesy. That's really weird. That's just, that's just like, I just don't get it. I don't get it because it's too late to be a quick score, right? It's too late to be a quick, so as much as you may want to win this game, there comes a point where you realise you can't win this game and like that was kind of the turn before that. So yeah, that's It's just weird, like I don't know what he's thinking. Like I don't know what Like he thinks he'll turn over Dark Elves and score in two turns? Or 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 like he thinks he won't score if he doesn't score then. Well I think he's got a really I thought he had a really good chance of stalling it out. It was only like two more turns. So yeah, really weird. I don't know what the reason is. And yeah, and then rule of five, so let the elves get down the flank instantly. Um, players behind the ball, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think he was in his mind as well, and yet, He's got nobody, you know, threatening to counter score, has he? It's weird. <laughs> oh, don't, don't be mean. Don't be mean. Like, I just want to try and, you know, like, rather than just, uh, like be mean or anything which you know that is how I used to be the default gym was mock somebody for doing something I didn't agree with I'm just trying to understand right be curious not judgmental bit of Ted Lasso for you and uh I just don't I just don't know what he was thinking. I don't know if it, like you surely can't think you're getting pressured there because he wasn't getting pressured at all. And I think he did want to score early, earlier in the drive. I think he did want to score early. So I'm sure he was just trying to score early still, but that's just weird that he thought it was still a good idea, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like it's just weird to think that's still a good idea. And there you go, he goes for the six plus dodge in to uphill strip. And uh you don't you don't have to be me. Nobody be me. Yeah, maybe you're done. Yeah, yeah, there was a similar thing I mean not similar to this. <laughs> but, <laughs> but there was that kind of thing happened with uh Rick, I imagine, I remember, right? There was there was a there was a chalice game, Rick versus Cruz, and this is maybe unfair to keep bringing it up, but I uh, 
I kind of always am reminded of it where Rick played against Cruz and Cruz had chaves, so Rick had zons, and um, and like you know before the start of the game, Rick was like, "I've got to get really lucky to win," you know, and then he started off, and Cruz just made a massive blunder, let Rick surf his uh, his pull centaur right, and at that point, Rick became the favourite, right? I thought. I thought that's how monumental it was, like Legend Bull Center or whatever, Surf dead. And and Cruz had done no damage on turn one. So at that point, I felt Rick should have, you know, now assumed the role of favourite and modified his thinking. And he just didn't. He carried on playing like he was the uh he was the underdog and he had to get super lucky to win. And he didn't have to, and I think he could have shut it down. And change, and I guess that's why I'm with Alan. He's like, I'm gonna score quick. I'm gonna score quick. I'm gonna score quick. And he just kept thinking that, even though it was turn six of the drive, and it was no longer a quick score. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's what happened. But Alan does lose. Uh, it, but this is just the first one, you know. He could, he could maybe win the next one. Maybe he can make a bunch of Kaz and uh, beat Jonesy. But so far, Jonesy goes one one nil ahead in this best of two slash three format which could have a a good name i should ask i should ask the uh nacon and cyanide people to see if they can think of a good name for this but yep congrats for now jonesy thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic